I remember that night like it was yesterday. It was a Thursday, almost midnight. My mom woke me up, put me in the car, and we drove to my brother's place. Stay in the car. I'll be back. I had no idea what was going on. They were just too far to hear. That was the last time I saw my brother alive. I was 10 years old. Good morning, Los Angeles. Today is August 19, 2016. Just a few hours later, we were on our way to school. Suddenly, my mom got the call that changed our lives. Forever. She doesn't tell me what's going on, and I begin imagining all possible causes, and my heart races at the speed of light. When I heard my brother's name, I connected the dots immediately. All my memories with him flashed before my eyes. My mom saw it coming. That's why she went to see Peep. She was trying to convince him to not commit suicide. My mom was never the same. In a peculiar twist of fate, I chose not to say goodbye to my brother that night. I don't know why I made the conscious decision not to, but for years, the haunting guilt of not saying goodbye would anchor me down. As time passed, my views developed into something less as a curse and more as a lesson. While the past cannot be rewritten, the future can still be shaped. 